Just a block from the Idaho State House, inside the Idaho Farm Bureau building in Boise, you'll find one of the best examples of grassroots politics. Any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 The Idaho Farm Bureau's Fall Resolutions Meeting. The, the, our policy comes from our membership, and, and what we're trying to do here today is the counties have submitted from all their members ideas of things they want to improve in agriculture, uh, business, uh, or it could be the policy side with government agencies. And Keller says the purpose of the resolutions meeting is to identify key issues that will become Farm Bureau policy. So Jefferson County on page five moved to remove the whole policy. And these just started out as ideas in the field, right? They started out with neighbor talking to neighbor across the fence, whether it was that or wherever they come, or an individual that had a, a true concern and talked it over with his friends and colleagues, and that's where these things are originating. So moved, there's second. Second. We moved and seconded, any further discussion? If resolutions pass this hurdle, they're voted on at the House of Delegates at the annual meeting in December then lobbied at the state house. We believe that, uh, that the, the ideas that farm folks have are, are solid, they're firmly based on people that recognize reality, that live in the real world. Not all resolutions passed. Some are redundant, some were sent back for revision. Dozens of resolutions were considered and the best added to the policy book, the book that will guide Farm Bureau in 2020. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Jake Putnam.